In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up comment automations for Instagram via mini chat. So let's dive in. You've probably seen a lot of people lately who are like, comment freebie and you'll get my free guide on whatever. Um, that is through a service kind of like mini chat. And this has been the one that I've been using and I've been really happy with it. It works very well, although it can be just a tad confusing at first. So I want to show you how to set up those automations and there's so much more you can actually do in mini chat, but that is really the main feature that I use it for. Um, you can do a lot of your, you know, DM answering and kind of automated things here if you're getting tons and tons of DMs and you're trying to use Instagram a little bit more effectively for converting sales. I love to answer my DMs, so <laughs> I mostly just use it for the comment option. So let's set up an automation here. So we're in mini chat. I would love if you'd use my affiliate link to sign up if you enjoy this video. So before I show you how it works, here are the different plans that you can use. Um, so you get up to a thousand contacts free of charge on the free plan. Your pro plan is $15 a month and then premium can be more. We're currently on the pro plan. One thing that I found a little frustrating was it bills everyone as a contact who DMs you even if they're not DMing you about the specific, um, you know, comment thing. So even though I'm only using that feature, it's counting everyone who DMs me in this 1000 contacts, but it's a great place to start and figure things out. And then once you get to a thousand, uh, you might want to upgrade to pro or you'll at least have a better understanding of what this can do for your business. And if it's moving the needle, spoiler alert, I think it really is. People love this comment feature. So let's set up an automation. So that's going to be in this automations tab. Looks like a little Adam spinning around and you can click new automation. There's a lot of things you can do here. However, I really just love using this convert Instagram comments into sales. You can do stuff uh, with Instagram stories too, which we're going to start diving into, but I just want to show you the comments one in this video. So we'll click setup template and it's going to do a lot of the work for us. We just have to indicate what we want the different messages to say. And of course they have these helpful little tutorials on how to set this up. So when someone comments on your post or reel, you can do this for specific ones or you can do it for everything. One piece of advice I have is if you're going to use all posts, do like a weird thing that they can comment because I did one that was school and someone commented like from my high school was like, I remember back in high school we did this. And then she got a DM for me being like, thanks for your interest in stationary school. Here's a link. And she was very confused. So we had a laugh about it. Uh, so you want to use pretty unique things, or if you're going to do something that's a more common word that people might use, just do it on one specific post. However, it's kind of tough because you would have to set this up like right when that post goes live in order to make that work. So I'll move my face over here for now. Um, so we'll, we'll do all posts or reels, or if you have the pro plan, you can actually do the next post or reel. So it's a little easier. If you're not on the pro plan, you would have to time it interestingly. Um, but we'll do all posts or reels continue. And then this is where you can set the keywords. So you can do school, you can do freebie, you can do 10 steps, whatever it is, it can have a space in it. Um, I would keep it really simple. I have one that is AI course and I even say in the real AI course, one word and people were still doing it. AI course, two words, or perhaps their autocorrect was autocorrecting. So I would just keep it as simple as possible, but not something like if I just did AI, then that's in a lot of words and people are going to start getting those messages when they don't necessarily mean to get them. And that's going to make you look bad. So just kind of keep that in mind. So like AI course is a good option. And then you can also exclude a keyword. So anything that you want to exclude, for instance, if you were just doing like school and then you wanted to exclude like high school or something like that to help them out. I typically don't use the exclude option. You can also do it for any comment. So that could be a really good option depending on exactly what you want. But I like to kind of separate into people who actually want the thing versus people who don't. Um, you could do something like, hey, comment with your favorite color and I'll send you the guide. And then that can just work for any comment pretty much. We'll click continue. One thing that I love about mini chat is these random replies. So you can set that when they comment, so say they comment the word yellow, then it will look like I'm replying automatically and saying, okay, I sent you the link or check your DMs. And you can actually change with these replies 
are, you could do like 20 of them if you really wanted to. So they look random and they don't look 100% automated or you could just do them automated or you just don't have to do a public reply. And we'll click save. So we've got everything in here, beautiful. And then we just want to put in the message that they're going to get in their DMs. They're not going to get this if they are fully private and you're not allowed to DM them if you're not following them. So just keep that in mind. I also notice sometimes people spell the thing a little differently. So if you can include keywords that are kind of spelled a little different, if especially if there's, you know, the word stationary, if you're talking about invitations, it's A-R-Y, but a lot of people misspell it and don't realize it. So I would put both A-R-Y and E-R-Y in the keyword option on the comments so that either one, if they misspelled it, um, they would still get the message. Sometimes I see someone who's misspelled it, so I just go and DM them the link to the thing. Here's where we can type in whatever message we want. Thanks for your comment. You can use your emojis, etc., And then you can change the button to like join stationary school. And then you can put the website URL here. This is really all you have to do and you can click done. And then this isn't going to be live until you set it to live. You can also preview it in mini chat or in Instagram. Uh, but you may have seen here that we can do some additional actions. And some of these are only available on the pro plan, uh, but you can go into perform actions and there's lots of different actions such as tagging your contacts. You can be like this person clicked on stationary school. Um, you can remove a tag. You can do different types of opt-ins, delete them, opt-outs, et cetera. You can even do like additional automations. So my assistant has set up so that once they do stationary school. If they click on it, then she'll ask them an additional question like, Hey, did you enjoy this or something? And then they can get another, would you like a link to some further resources? And then if they say yes, they can actually get a second link there. So you can actually have a full story there for what's happening in your Instagram DMs and it's completely automated, but let's keep it really simple. This is just comment and I will reply in your DMs. So some of the ones that I have here, um, I have a few YouTube videos. So that would be, hey, comment, whatever. And I'll send you the full YouTube video, um, Creative Market. That's one of my links. Some of these are like my affiliate links. Some of these are my courses. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of affiliate links in here. Uh, my free Adobe Illustrator course. And you can see that the keywords here are free Illustrator or AI course, frame building course, one of my fonts. And I've used an emoji for the lemon squeezy option there. And we have these kept in a spreadsheet so that whenever I'm posting a reel or a new Instagram post, I can go there and say, okay, what do they need to comment to get lemon squeezy? Because I'm talking about the lemon squeezy font today. So I know I can always find that. And then here you can just really easily like turn these things on and off. So you can set these up per post if you want. I like to kind of set them up for whenever I need them because my marketing is not 100% planned out. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a little reel about power and pricing today. And then I can just go on there and remind myself what they need to comment in order to get a direct link to that. And I found these things to be really high uh, conversions compared to everything else. For instance, like this has a 70% click through rate at this point. This one has 80%. This one has 100% click through rate, 90, 62. So if you can just get these things into people's inboxes, they are really happy to click on it and see what's there. And most of the time when I'm posting something, I have the link in my stories that day, or I'll share the post and put the link in the story, but people aren't always going to find that. And they're not going to be finding that like three days later either. So I still have a post from last week that's getting a lot of new traction and new comments um, because there's a sale going on for this entire week and people are still commenting on this to get the link. And if I didn't put that in my stories again today, then they would have no way of finding the link. So getting these things into people's direct message inbox, they've already indicated that they want it. And then you can even further segment these people here in mini chat if you want to use some of those additional features. So these automations are becoming more and more popular. People are more and more used to them and they're more expecting them to some extent. So they don't want to do those extra steps and this can really increase your conversion rates. So if you are interested in checking out mini chat, I hope you will use my affiliate link in the description. It'll give me a small commission, which allows me to keep making free content showing you how to use these platforms. Let me know what you think and what questions you have any other features that you want to see here in mini chat. Thanks everyone.